Are you ready to get started today? That's what I wanted to hear. Please welcome Chef Devin Rajkumar in the house. Nice entrance there, eh? Thank you. Now, I am a lover of meatloaf. Okay. People think meatloaf and they think, oh my gosh, that's so old school. But you can really have some fun with meatloaf. First of all, it's good as a classic. Yep. And then you get your hands on it <laughs> and it becomes this. We're going to be making meatloaf muffins. Yeah, so we have muffins. Before we jump to the muffins, I want to yeah. talk about an Italian style one that we can do. Okay. So all we're right. using uh, organic ground chicken today. Nice. And uh, we have Italian sausage in here and then parsley. We can add a whole bunch of different uh, seasonings and flavors to this. So it's okay. just ground chicken. Italian sausage. I have the trimmings from the herbs that I was using, but we'll need to add in a good amount of, sorry, not a good amount, but say a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. Okay. Um, if you can see on this one that I finished here, there's a lot of cubes of cheese, and that's smoked mozzarella. Oh my goodness. So you could use mozzarella, but yeah. you could be a lot cooler if you use smoked mozzarella. Well, okay? it, adds, it adds a whole different layer of I like, flavor. Remember the liquid when you smoke? smoke it? I love oh, those flavors. Yeah, it's so, good. so we're going to add in some picante olives. All right. We're going to add in sun dried tomatoes. And next, what I'm going to add in is the key. Now, a long time ago when I learned how to make meatballs, if mm -hmm. you add a panade to the meat, it's mm -hmm. going to make it much more tender. A panade is starch with liquid. Oh, Panko okay. water. I okay. use bread and milk. Bread this and is milk. what makes it very tender. And that applies to a meatball. A meatloaf is essentially like a massive meatball. Pretty much. You know, that, that's right? why. So I'm going to add in a in, loaf. In a loaf form. So I'm going to yeah. add some of that in there. And then we have uh, Italian parsley. Basically, anything Italian you have, you're going to throw into here. Put okay? it in there. We Most have people oregano. are thinking, okay, that's not meatloaf anymore. This is totally meatloaf. It's, it's still going to be a yeah, loaf of it's, meat. It's going to come out like a loaf. Right? We need to add uh, some, some more fresh herbs in there. So I'm sure I've showed you this before, but we're going to roll these greens up here. And do and a we're, chiffonade. We're going to do a chiffonade. Chiffonade. And we're going to add this in. This, I also garnish the meatloaf with basil as well. Yeah. But it's nice to get some in there, okay? Just Absolutely. for that freshness. So that goes into here. I'm going to put on a glove. If you're working at home with raw meat, I don't know, working with Matt Blonde, Chef Matt Blonde, anytime I touch poultry now, I have to wear a glove. No, but that's smart, though. It's he teaches great. you yeah. about food safety. And when you're working in the restaurant industry, you want to know that people are going the extra mile to be safe with your food, Absolutely. Right? And he's very really serious important. about food safety and sanitation and all yeah. that good stuff. So I'm going to mash all this together. But already, like, it smells amazing. Like, you almost don't oh. even want to cook it. Yeah, you do, though. That's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> okay. Make sure you cook We're this at cook home, it. okay? For sure. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's really delicious. And then you can have a lot of fun with this. You can add different flavors. You can add pancetta. You can add bacon. You right. know, sopracetta. Capricolo, mortadella, oh, yeah. any of that good stuff. I used Italian sausage, it's nice and spicy. Then, the quick tip here. Yep. You have a loaf pan here. I mm -hmm. lined it with saran wrap, okay? Yeah. So I'm gonna take my mixture and pat this in. I don't need to add any egg or anything into this, thank you for that. No problem. And I'm gonna pat all this down. Already it smells unbelievable. You're gonna want your oven preheated at about 375 or so. Okay. And how long do you think this is gonna cook for? I don't know, how long does it take? Because I wanna make sure it's really yes. cooked. Yes, for me. Uh, 30 minutes. We're going to go 45 to 50 minutes. 45 to 50 minutes. Beef, you might be able to get away with that time. Yeah. So I'm going to take off my glove. I have another tip here for you. Whenever you're working with raw meat and stuff at home, okay. um, and you don't want to dirty up your cutting board, just take a piece of parchment and lay this down. A lot of times we're working in the kitchens and people mess up the cutting boards and it's like all you have to do is just really lay something down, okay? Right, because you want to use you don't it again and again Exactly. And again. So I'm just going to give it a little bang and Hand then when you flop it over, you're left with a perfectly shaped meatloaf. And that's how I got Love these that. guys to look all pretty. Kind of like store-bought, but it's not store-bought, right? But it's not, because you bought. made it. And this guy, uh, you can cut the, the pieces of cheese and stuff down smaller if you want. Yeah. But overall, I like to leave it chunky. And then you get these big blocks in there. That looks so that fantastic. So that would be the Italian style. And I top yeah. it with marinara and uh, Parmesan cheese, which you can microplane over. There's already a lot of cheese on here. <laughs> yeah. But is there? <laughs> No, you no. can always cut. No, no, just right? do it. No, you so can always use more. extra. It's fine. So that is the Italian one that we're doing. The Italian next one. Italian style. These are what style are these? Are you doing these or these? That will be coming That's, up next. We're so th save. these ones are like these. Uh, they're like uh, muffins. They're kind of like cupcake muffins. Yeah. And you make them in the tins. I have ground beef here, but okay. I want you to make a quick sauce for me, okay? Because yeah, I'm sure. too lazy to do it myself. Ah, uh, no problem. So you're gonna add in half that mayonnaise in there. Okay. And we're making an Alabama white sauce, which is something I learned at Oma. All right then. And you're gonna All add of just. This? Absolutely not. You're going to okay. add in one spoon. All righty. Okay, and then we're going to add in a couple dashes of Tabasco. You can mm -hmm. add in some cayenne, apple yep. cider vinegar. Nice. So you can see this is like a sour mayo, Alabama yes. white sauce. It's like a barbecue-based mayo sauce. Okay. That gets all on oh, Worcestershire as well is very important. You put that into a squeeze bottle, and then you can just start like, you know, 
spraying up your whole kitchen all over the place. Do you really kind of want to do that? It's really, really tasty. Okay. Okay. It's like a little, well, it's, it's almost like a mayo, just a... It's a sour mayo, like it's an a apple sour cider mayo. vinegar mayo. With the heat, with the depth from the Worcestershire, the pungency of the mustard, yes. it's beautiful. It all so, works together. So with the ground beef mixture, you can follow the same protocol here with the breadcrumbs. That yeah. goes into your good old muffin pan. Yeah. And then I bake them off for like 35 minutes. And like you can top them with all kinds of cool stuff. I have pickled cabbage. I have Dijon ale. But is that I wrapped, bacon? Did I wrapped you? some in bacon because I put bacon I on everything. Yeah. And then uh, we have a sweet potato as well. Like you can have a lot of fun with meatloaf. Yeah. And these recipes are online. So you can take them and do what you want with them. This is why people rely on meatloaf though as a staple because really it's pretty easy to mix all this stuff together in a bowl. It's really you decide what you want in there. And you can use up a lot of groceries you have in your fridge yes, at the end of the week. Yes. So. Excellent. Waste not, want not. We're putting it on our website. That's cityline.ca for those two recipes. Thanks, Deb.